Okay guys, and welcome back. In this section, uh, we are going to build the JavaScript logic for our uh, book search application. So heading back into Sublime, I am going to create another directory. This one is called JS. And inside JS directory, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it app.js. Let's say the file, and uh, here I'm going to start by using uh, jQuery. So I'm going to say document and that ready function. And uh, inside here, I'm going to start by uh, creating a, a variable called output list. And I'm going to get the uh, list output class, or actually uh, ID. So I'm going to say document get element by ID. And I'm going to get output ID. I want to create a book URL. And uh, this is going to be my API which I'm going to get from the Google Books API documentation. If you go to the link that I show you at the beginning and then go to using the API and then click on performing a search, then you arrive here. And this is what we want. This is the, uh, the API that we're going to use. So I'm going to copy all the way to the equal sign And insert it here. And next, I'm going to create a variable called place holder. And this is going to be a placeholder in case some of the results do not contain an image, which I already have it. And next, I'm going to create another uh, bar and I'm going to say search data. And uh, somewhere here at the beginning, I want to create some um, variables called item, title, author, publisher, and book link. This is going to be the uh, the values that I'm going to get from the uh, REST API, the JSON result, and book image. So if you go back into my index, um, the button has say an ID of search, and that's what I'm going to get here using jQuery. So I'm going to say output list inner HTML to empty. And the output list is the list output here. So I'm going to say search data equals to search box the value. And this is going to get the value um, input from the user. And here we're going to say handling empty search input field in case the user forgets to uh, to enter a search and press the search button. So we're going to say search data equals empty string or search data equals null. Then we're going to display some error. We're going to say display error function. We're going to tackle later else and this is where we're going to handle uh, our submission we're going to use an ajax jquery function and uh, this function takes a url 
which is the book URL uh, variable plus a search and data, which we get it from here. Okay, book URL plus search data. Also, data type that will be JSON. Open success. We're going to call function response. And uh, we want to console log the response so we can see what we're getting from our uh, Ajax request. So we want to implement an if statement in case our response contains a zero value. We're going to say alert and no results. Try again. Okay. Else. We're going to say title, margin, top, let's say uh, 50 pixels. Actually, let's make it 10 pixels. And uh, we're also going to say uh, book list and the CSS visibility visible. And then we're going to call another function called display results. And we're going to pass the response. And then we also need to implement, in case we get an error, another function. We're going to use alert that says something went wrong. And somewhere here, we're going to use our search box ID to clear the value. Okay, so next let's go ahead and implement the display result form uh, function. But before we get there, let's go ahead and test the, uh, the response. So somewhere here, instead of calling Instead of calling display results, let's comment this out for now. And uh, let's take a look at the output of, the, of our console. We should, be able, we should have some um, output displaying in the console. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's go back into index.html and uh, let's create a link to our, to our index, uh, to our app.js. So I'm going to say source JS app.js. And one thing I, I forgot to mention is that we also need to include jQuery. Refresh the page and let's do, let's say Python programming. Let's perform a search. Let's inspect that console and uh, we got an error. <clears throat> All right, so after debugging the app, uh, correcting a few errors, so let's go ahead and um, submit a search. And as you can see, uh, we're getting the, uh, the slide to top uh, jQuery effect, and we are getting uh, results back from uh, our REST API in JSON format. So notice that um, we're getting an object, and then inside uh, the object, we're getting an items array, and um, that items array has uh, elements, zero, uh, one, two, three, all the way through nine. And inside each element, there is the book information that we need to access. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and implement 
the uh, the display results function. So I'm going to say rest that items that length. Semicolon item plus equals two. And um, I'll show you why i plus equals two. If we go back into our uh, web app, notice that we have for every row, we have two cards. So we are displaying two books in one row. So for every for every iteration, we need to get uh, two indexes, two books. So uh, let me go back. So for each iteration, we need to get information from uh, index zero and index one, and then the other one, index two and index uh, index two and index three, and so on. I hope I can explain myself. Um, so I'm going to say here, items equal res items i and then title so basically what i'm doing um i'm getting the i'm getting the title author and publisher information and also the image from this section here um you don't have to read the documentation and see where you can get each information, but it's all contained here, even the ISBN. And then here we are going to um, output to output less. So we are going to say output less inner HTML plus equals, and we're going to create a div. Also a class, I'm going to set it to row, margin top four. And we're going to say plus. And I'm going to use another uh, function. This one is going to call format output. And I'm going to pass these variables here. Okay, so now I'm going to implement this function. Basically, this function is um, a template, um, an HTML template in which I can include um, JavaScript variables. In this section, I'm going to use the viewer URL to view the book once the user clicks on the link. And the URL is, or actually will be book HTML, which is a page we haven't created yet. Dollar sign, then we are going to pass the ISBN into that page. And somewhere here, I'm going to return HTML card. And that's for my function. I, I also needed to implement my error function. for when the user forgets to enter input. And I uh, believe that's it. So I'll go ahead, save, and uh, let's run it in the browser. All right, so we finally got it working after correcting a few errors. We got our application uh, working and notice now that we have the title, author, publisher, 
in the link. So now the final part is to implement the link to the uh, to the book.html page.